What's up guys, give a quick overview of my coolant um, ambient cooling system you can find it in their official website and just to give you overall look here is you've got display with all the configurations the temperature, fan speeds everything can be configured by clicking those buttons right here temp reset, fan set, speeds so currently my fans are running on 20% all nine of them and this is pretty much gives me uh, more than enough performance cooling performance to cool my three three of my titans uh, I'm actually having four titans installed however uh, the top titan is connected to my water chiller also from coolant right here and the remaining of the titans are connected to the ambient cooling system which is the coolant saving system right right in the back with the radiators and nine fans. Um, the overall performance is very great and in terms of sound, uh, this machine is very quiet. You may probably will notice some noise coming from my chiller. This machine is pretty much noisy, like a mini fridge, and this noise is, does not stop because the comp compressor runs every 30 seconds, every other 30 seconds but the fans, three of these fans are on, on I, I guess they're on just 100% 100% speed run and, but this machine, if you connected only this ambient cooling system to your system you may probably cool all four Titan CPU motherboard I just went for the higher performance but let me show you how this piece runs on 100% fan speed so you may see the difference as you see all fans to 20 let's pull them to 100 here we go as you may already know, notice it gets a little noisy I believe you can configure when you're in 3D or in game mode you may, the system may automatically uh, pull those speeds up and downgrade the speed when you're, in two, when you're in desktop but what I'm doing I'm just running 24-7 I mean when the computer is on I run him on 20% speed, which is more than enough performance. Also, by the way, this is the Cooper um, Cooper base radiator. There's like two versions of them, so you can just check the coolant's website. I, I will post uh, the model number on the YouTube description at the bottom. Um, what else it does? Uh, this thing flips along. You can flip over the entire unit and pre-install, but I think this is the best position because the fence pull the air from other side and just that's probably how it's supposed to work also you've got the lifter right here the handle for the carrying I only I didn't want to use it once because I found it make sure you this piece hide it inside your box so don't throw your box before you find this one <laughs> and here is filling port here is the reservoir, like three quarters are full. Also you've got the buttons right here for just moments for LEDs. LEDs off, LEDs on, very convenient. If you if this light is bagging you, you can just shut it off. I feel this is look something nice and this is the power button I don't I'm not gonna press it because it's gonna shut down the unit immediately but this unit starts automatically and the way it's connected it has a plug right there this is what you need to attach to your um, to your power supply piece yeah and when your computer starts your entire system starts and I did connect it over quick disconnects from Beats Power. So let me give you some quick look 
of the temperatures. First of all, I'm gonna start my battlefield. Get better results. Let's just join any of the servers. All right, uh, here is the afterburner. My core voltage set to 1.4, as you see right here. It's 1.4. Uh, the power limit is 200. Core clock plus 350, and the memory clock plus 600. Also, all Titans are custom bias from forgot the name but you 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 will be able to find everything on overclock.net website so here is the temps of the GPU uh, you may notice I only my system registered only three three graphic cards this is the reason because my, my motherboard uh, recently dies one of the slides the second slot got burnt out and I had to change it I ordered a new one but at the moment it's only registered uh, three GPUs the first one 34 degree uh, strange it has to be lower because it runs out of the chiller so I, I guess these numbers are just not correct because I don't know which slot these GPUs are in but let's let's see what's happened in game there's the battlefield I just joined the game it's on one screen I'm gonna use any surround the surround doesn't work due to the second slot burn and let's see where the voltage jumps to. The voltage jumps to 1.4, 1 1.4, and 1.360. And here the temperatures are 35, 32, 33, which is uh, really nice temps uh, out of this unit. We run 100% right now on fan speed but in 20% you'll get the same results you know for the quality of the results let me just put the fan speed back oh, here, here is the auto so you, you can set it to auto but I, I prefer them on 20% this is the most quiet ambient cooling system I ever see with most highest performance. All right, 20. Done. You don't even hear any noise. All right, now let's check the temperature again. We're still in game. Battlefield. And the temps are 36, 32, 33. Here is the GPU's temps. GPU 1, GPU 2, GPU 3. And here's the temperatures are. So it's a nice temperatures when you run over 1.4 volts, almost pulling like 500 plus watt of each card. And it's also powered by 150 watt uh, PSU from Corsair. This PSU uh, dedicated to only three of these graphic cards, which is connected to the ambient cooling system. So here it is. Um, it's a nice unit, great piece of equipment, very made solid, all metal. I hope it lasts at least for a couple of years, we'll see it. But since I got it, I have no problems with that. Runs smooth as a, as a butter uh, for already like uh, four, three to four months, I guess. Yeah, around three months. Can show you from the side, but here's what you've got. All metal. Here's metal piece too. You probably want to use some dust filters because the dust sticking right here going through the radiator. So I guess like a, a large dust filter will be great. And from the back you got uh, in out loop power connector and the second connector that's your uh, start 
like a start engine for the unit. I, I didn't have a chance to open it to look at it inside, but it should be pretty simple like a huge uh, 9 fans radiator. All fans are 120 millimeter and the reservoir should be right here in this block with the, with the, with the pump down there. Uh, I guess it's a good investment uh, rather than do internal radiators inside your box and internal pop, pump and all other systems. This is the great unit to just cool down your entire system. All you need to wire up your loop like I did and connect it through the quick disconnects from one side to another. And here is what you get. Alright, thanks for watching.